All right, well, we got an update here. So, with the turbocharged Craftsman, we're trying to equalize the pressure inside the carburetor here um, to the same pressure as inside the charge pipe so it can maintain the proper fuel ratio to balance that 14.7 stoichiometric pressure which is needed to run a gasoline powered engine. So, Basically, what I have figured out is I got it tuned to the point where if I would manually blow into here, it uh, creates pressure to force fuel up the power jet and then out of the power jet um, itself. And if I do it at the right PSI with my mouth, I'm able to get the machine to rev out like I would want it to with the turbo on. So now I'm just trying to figure out if I think that's similar to the PSI in the charge pipe and if I can plumb them together to work All it right, like Now that. I'm getting ready to start the tractor to see if I can show you the progress we made. One other thing I failed to mention was I also moved the clip on the needle uh, from the central most position there was uh, five slots so it was on slot number three from the bottom I moved my needle down to the first slot on the bottom which in turn um, increased the amount of fuel going into the carburetor to its maximum ability with this size needle and carb um, if this doesn't give me enough fuel between the needle and the power jet I will then be forced to either increase um, jet size or try a whole different setup in entirely. That was your oil pump. So I'm going to kick that on after I get it running. Um, there's a lot of variables that make this a challenging process, but we're going to see what happens here. Um, The tethered kill switch is not attached. So after that run, it's definitely progressing in the right direction. I filled up my air compressor here and I'm trying to manually blow into each tube to see what happens um, with just a little bit of pressure. And with this overflow tube on the bottom of the car bowl here, as well as both um, vacuum assist ports on the top they're all forcing fuel up the power jet down into the um, carb throat so I didn't realize until I blew through this um, overflow tube that it's actually operating the power jet now as well um, and there was multiple instances where I was getting fuel coming out of the overflow, I imagine because the boost pressure was just too much forcing it here. So now my inclination is, I'm hoping that if I can run this also into the teed off um, vacuum assist lines, 
and then this line into the charge pipe if between all three of these this will not operate the power jet properly that I can set the needle to the right fuel flow of the one-to-one -one ratio increase that it's going to need um, and run the machine. So I'm going to hook all this up and get back to you and see if we can't see what happens then. Alright, we're back with this crazy setup. So we have charge pipe um, feed with to the shutoff valve. I added the shutoff valve so I can intentionally turn it on and off so I don't have to keep hooking this up. Um, so now it is either, yeah, you get it. And then we got uh, the overflow now being charged with the additional port on the turbo that is typically ran to the diverter valve here. Um, in which I don't even think we're creating enough boost to move at this point. So for testing purposes, I'm going to use this to try to have two um, boost reference ports off the charge pipe and hopefully keep the pressure inside this carb body uh, the same. So I'm going to finish the last little bit of installation here, which is not tight. Actually, I was going to leave this off just so I can see what happens in here with the jetting while this is all hooked up like that. That's why I left it off for the beginning of this first of two attempts. So let's see what happens here now with a setup like this. I would say that was uh, a success for what I wanted to see so far. Now let's see if it'll pick that up and continue it during the, uh, yeah, once I charge it with the boost. So let's see. But I wanted to uh, bring to your attention here, right here. Um, I am leaving my gas cap off and the reason we're leaving the gas cap off is I realized last night that this little vent um, vent hole that the tank has could very well be um, could very well be causing it not to be able to pull the fuel through fast enough um, to compensate for the charge so I did notice when I did remove the, the gas cap from the uh, tank there it did at least eliminate that probability or possibility that it's not able to draw enough through that small vent so uh, yeah there we are we're gonna see what happens on track well I'd say without the charge pipe installed, it went well. So now the charge pipe is all hooked up again. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. Cross my fingers. I pray this works because, man, I am like a bajillion attempts in and haven't been satisfied with the results yet until this last run so let's see what happens
before the charge pipe blew off there, it was it was sounding like it was gonna go. And uh man, I hope this thing runs. Even as long as it's half decent, I will be glad to tie this project up and move on to the next build, which I'm thinking is gonna be the two-stroke 440cc Jaguar snowmobile engine on the Slam Craftsman. So stay tuned for that. I got a, a Craftsman that's already built and running with the uh, Peerless 700 and 12 and a half 28 CID brakes on it, uh, two inches off the ground. But I'm gonna try to put the snowmobile engine on it. I'm thinking. And, uh, yeah, I have that 440cc Jag. I ran it yesterday. Uh, it's running great. And then that Craftsman, it's a, it's a nice machine. I just have to uh, decide how I want to complete it. So that's what I'm going to do there, I think. I'm going to try to stop talking and finish this up and uh, come back in when it's done to give it one more go. Try to tie this video together because it's getting all Charge right pipe well secured, I think, this time. I'm going to go for test number three. I hope this crazy setup works. Well, can it help if I put in the uh, tethered kill wire? try one more time and then if it doesn't work here we're going to call it a day and uh, see what happens in the next video. I think uh, we got a couple things going on here and first 
is the fact that um, the throttle mechanism is not quite properly installed right causing the cable to constantly change um, position and keeps over revving and then I still have to figure out the tuning maybe go back one side one clip spot on the needle itself and um, yeah I'm overall I'm pretty satisfied with where we're going or where it's going and hopefully I can get it tuned out soon because boy I am ready to ride this and like I said move on to the next project so yeah keep up to date on the project the build uh, like share subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of the turbocharged craftsman here at JMD small engine repair peace